Okay, this is Kaya. Come here. Come here, Kaya. Get up. Get up. Come on, get up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on, you can get up. Stand up. You can stand up. Come here. Come on. Get up. Get up. Come here. Get up. Get up. Come on. Come on, young girl. All right, hobble over here. All right. This is Kaya. We got her back in about 2003. She was several years old when we got her. She's a good 13, 14 years old, I think. And she's about three or four years old when we got her. Anyway, she's old, decrepit. All right. So yesterday, we had a dog battle. I'm gonna set the scene here. Some kids, they got in a fight up the hill and the neighbor dog was there and had her rolled over. Just had a minor dog fight and there were three children wanting to walk down the road to go to the creek, which is down that way. And I said, sure, go on down. Well, I didn't know that my son's goats were down in a pasture eating a bay hay bale. And um, the kids went down. I went in the house. And my granddaughter called and said the goats were down eating a hay bale. Should she go down and push them up here? And I said, well, get a bucket of grain and lead them up. So she came over, she was on her way over, and as I looked out, the goats were all coming up the hill. And the kids were in with them, the three children, and the neighbor's dog was with them. Well, I've always wondered what these quote-unquote guard dogs would do if another dog got in with the goats that they are naturally bred to protect. I found out. There's no one of the guilty party. This is an Akbosh club or something like that. It's a guard dog. Come here. Come here. Come here, puppy. Let me see. Got some blood there. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Roll over. Lay down. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Got a bit there. Okay. Guilty. This is a female. There's a male. So there were two of them. The two pups, Hyper and Lan and Kaya and Vin, which I got on film earlier might be after when I post it. So, we hear a dog fight start. My granddaughter leaves the bucket of grain, runs down. She got there before I did. And there's a dog fight. Right where the camera's focused there. Be any of those up now. And it was a wild dog fight. Three guard dogs and Kaya, which is a Great Pyrenees. Vin is a whatever Great Pyrenees. Vin and the two Akbash pups are normally with the goats. And they've been lazing around on the front porch doing nothing all day. And they had this horrific dog fight. I could find out where I tried to get up out of the ditch, but they started out here and then they rolled down in the ditch, which is pretty deep. I'm going to guess right about there. I want to try to get out. And there was a branch that I kept tripping over. I was totally exhausted and beat by the time I got out of there. About ready to fall over and collapse from exhaustion. I would say right here, deep ditch. The uh, neighbor's dog was rolled over and all six of the two pups, the two big dogs, and the two little goofy porch dogs were all piled on this one dog and they were going to kill him. One of the kids wanting to go down to the creek had a six foot, the boy had like a six foot long piece of oak. And I said, give me that. So it was a club, I mean, I'm talking a club. And I beat on the two big dogs. And every off, off and on, I would grab them both by the scruff of the neck and drag them back. And uh, I couldn't hold both of them at the same time. And it turned into a horrific battle. Um, we finally got him broken up and the dog got up the road and survived and he's just, he had teeth marks all over him from head to tail. So anyway, my point is this, my wife said, well I know what your next video is going to be and I was like, what? And she said, wild dog packs and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. 
Um, there's a guy named Buckshot, and he has an article online. I'll try to get the link and post it below this video. I know you're not seeing anything here, but you know, just uh, this is where it happened. Uh, it was, it was. Uh, words don't describe. Now, had it been out in the woods and a real dog pack, it would have been fatal for whoever was involved, whether it be a dog or a person. Because they, the bloodlust hit them things and they was just a bunch of nice, nice dogs. Nice friendly dogs that I can walk up and pet any time of day or night. And uh, they turned into killing machines. And they would have killed that dog, I have no question. So, point being is, in the event of a breakdown, people are going to let their dogs go and they're going to turn into dog packs. One dog is a pet, two dogs is a partnership, and three dogs is a pack. And we had six dogs packed on one dog. So, just, uh, there you go. Um, about good enough there. I might or might not post this, but boy, I'll tell you what, it was it was an experience that I don't ever want to duplicate. There's Vin barking at something going down the road. And another pup barking. Anyway, where the other pup is, I don't know. No big deal. It looks just like the other one. It's a male. But it was a really a a battle. My granddaughter and I jumped in, broke it up, and she got nipped a little bit, not too bad, but I, it was scary. I saw that happen. One of our dogs bit her, so no, not bad, like I said. But it was, it was, it was, it was nasty for the poor dog up the street. All right.